What is going on guys? Grave here today. I like to talk about all the stuff coming to Call of Duty Vanguard on day one, on release day. Of course, we're just a few days away from the release of the game and this game is going to have a lot of stuff coming with it and of course a lot of stuff post launch. Uh, this is one of the biggest Call of Duty launches I said in over a decade. Before I get into all the details, be sure you check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also, you can check out the new merch store that launched last week. That is linked in the description as well. And if you're not hit the sub button yet here on the channel, uh, I would appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really helps out a lot. Of course, uh, with Call of Duty Vanguard being released, I, I think a lot of people were skeptical to begin with. But over the last week or so, we've been getting a lot of info and a lot of people are getting more and more excited about the game. Some of the coolest things I think that they're doing, of course, is the map count and, of course, the amount of weapons along with some other things. So let's talk about the map count first. There will be 20 maps at launch. And only two of those are going to be remastered. So that is a great thing. I know a lot of people get uh, kind of upset that every year you get just remastered maps over and over in Call of Duty with 20 maps at launch. And only two being remastered. That's a really good thing in my opinion. Also, something else they talked about was the amount of weapons. You're looking at 38 total weapons. This is going to be uh, things like seven assault rifles, six SMGs, four shotguns, four LMGs, three marksman rifles, three sniper rifles, five handguns, four launchers, and two dedicated melee weapons. The four launchers is kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do uh, with four launchers in a World War II setting. So I'm really uh, interested to see what that's going to look like. But there's just a lot of stuff coming with this. Also, you're looking at the uh, modes and things we're going to have available on November the 5th. Free for all, team deathmatch, kill confirmed, dom, search and destroy, hardpoint, and patrol. Also, you're going to have champion heal uh, in there. Also, you know, they talk about playing your way where you can have the tactical settings, which is this traditional 6v6, the assault settings, which we saw these, of course, in the beta, which is 7v7 to 18v18, and the blitz mode, which is 8v8 all the way up to 24v24, depending on the size of the map, of course. So there's a lot of stuff coming with this. Um, of course, we're going to get shipment for free, you know, a few weeks after launch. Also, we're going to get a ranked play that they've talked about. They said Treyarch and Sledgehammer are kind of in talks with the Call of Duty League, the Pro League, to get rank play set up. And this is going to, this seems like it's going to be a really good rank play. It's going to have a dedicated rank that you can see, a lot of different ranked modes, and that should be coming out sometime in 2022. I hope it's early 2022. I hope they decide to do this rank playlist around the same time the Call of Duty League actually starts, because a lot of years we have to wait a really long time uh, for rank play to come out. And a lot of people have kind of already stepped away from the game if they're not fans of just traditional multiplayer. Um, another thing, that, of course, they've talked about is all the stuff coming out with the Battle Royale. Of course, we're going to get the new map and a big season launch for it uh, in December. Uh, of course, all of this stuff uh, adding up to Call of Duty Vanguard, to the release of Call of Duty Vanguard, all the stuff that the devs have been releasing, all the stuff that Treyarch and Sledgehammer have been talking about, it, it's pretty impressive in my opinion. I think a lot of people after the beta were kind of disappointed. They weren't really excited. They weren't really hyped about Call of Duty. And of course, the last couple of weeks with all the changes uh, Sledgehammer has talked about that they're doing from the beta, all the stuff that the community had discussed, it seems like they were really listening. They're changing a lot of stuff that players did not like, and they're giving us a ton of content. I mean, 20 maps on launch is absolutely massive considering over the last few years, we've got like eight or nine maps on launch day, and a lot of them have been remastered, and people were not really happy with that. I mean, you're looking at 38 weapons, and of course, we're going to get more maps and more weapons uh, added into the game as each season progresses. So it, look, it looks like it's going to be a big year for Call of Duty content. If they can keep up this amount of content, I don't expect it to be this big every single season. But I, I think if they can keep a pretty good pace uh, with the content, we're looking to have a lot of maps at the end of the year. It's going to be a lot of maps for you know pro league players to pick from to play in the pro league, a lot of maps to play in rank play, a lot of maps to play in pug, uh, pug matches. Uh, it's, just, it's just really a, a great thing, in my opinion, for Call of Duty. I think this was kind of a surprise to a lot of the players. Uh, I think the changes and all the content was a big surprise for a lot of people. And I think that's why over the last few weeks you've heard more and more about Call of Duty and more and more people in the community getting excited for uh, this Friday, so when the game releases. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you'd like to hit the like, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.